so much studying involved in football and obviously in your field. How, did, how different is, is it? Is it a different kind of brain task to study? Or is it I think it's, it's really the same approach. Um, I know Coach Brown always likes to talk about uh, PhDs as linebackerology. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm working on mine still. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, it's really the same approach. You know, it's just uh, just the way you attack things. Seems like defenses would be easy, or, or other opposing offenses would be easy to learn after doing. Rocket science stuff. Do you, do you find it like easier to like compartmentalize football than? You know, school? there's. You might think so, but th there's so many you know different ins and outs and uh, so many different things going on out there. It's it's not as easy as it looks. You know, uh, today's game is just so far developed. Uh, you know, there's so many different people doing so many different things. Uh, I was watching an NFL football game a while ago. And I, I think I saw some former uh, aerospace engineering grad who's actually a coach uh, for some pro football team. I can't remember. Lions coach. Is Patricia it Lions? Is, is he's a, he's got That's right. It was Matt Patricia, wasn't it? Yeah. So there you go. Perfect example. <laughs> Dude is, you know. He looks like he's like a mountain guy. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't look yeah. like he's a rocket. Science. Yeah. yeah dude's, <laughs> the dude's on another, another level, and, you know, you can see it with his defenses. I might have been asked this, but uh, are there younger guys ready to step up at the linebackers? Um, absolutely. You know, Coach Brown does a great job. Uh, one of the things that he really tries to make a staple of his defense is everybody's getting to play. You know, somewhere else, and uh, a lot of the younger guys just stand around and watch practice. But here, Michigan, we're getting everybody in, we're getting everybody reps, we're rotating everybody because you never know, somebody might go down with an injury, uh, somebody's going to graduate next year, you know, you got to get the next generation ready. So. Who are the guys that are your eye that have really stepped in? Um, I'll tell you what, Josh Uche is having a heck of a spring ball. Um, he's doing some great things, especially in the past rush. He's really, really molding into uh, a top tier player. Did you watch the Amazon series? Um, I watched a little bit of it, but uh, uh, not much of it yet. I, I told my girlfriend I'd watch it with her. So. <laughs> well, we got a glimpse into the way Don Brown coaches. Is he is he like that all the time? I mean, you know, just kind of fiery and sometimes swearing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he, he gets you motivated. <laughs> um, yeah, I saw that halftime speech in Florida. You know, that, that brought back some memories. But yeah. He gets you going for sure. You'll be. Will you be going to Paris? Or? Yes. What did you? I mean, you were obviously in Rome last year. What did you gain from that experience? So one of the things that I think that experience brought um, to a lot of the guys on the team is it, it gave them uh, kind of an outsider view of who we are as Americans. Uh, you know, being abroad. Um, you know, taking yourself out of your comfort zone and where you're used to and your normal surroundings. And uh, I think that's something that a lot of guys wouldn't have gotten otherwise, uh, if not for that trip. So I think right away that was one of the biggest things that we got from it mm -hmm. as a team. Is it better, you think, that you won't be practicing over there this time? It's just strictly a team bonding? I mean, I guess practices too, obviously, but that that's not part of the equation? I think uh, it's a little disappointing because I remember that practice last year at the Olympic yeah. training facility. Uh, yeah, it was the Olympic Stadium. Um, and gosh, it, it felt like you were a Roman gladiator out there. You know, you had all those uh, marble statues around you looking at you and you know, people in the stands. And it was, it was unlike anything else I've ever experienced before. Um, you know, as a kid, you I, I grew up at least... Uh, you know, wanting to be a Roman gladiator, fighting the Coliseum, <laughs> and then it's like I finally got an opportunity to do there. Is there something in particular you want to do in Paris? Eat something you want to see? I do not want to try escargot. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I, I had hopped over to Paris uh, after the Rome trip last year. Mm -hmm. I got to see the Eiffel Tower and Notre Dame Cathedral. And, 
cool places like that. So uh, I'm excited to see him again.